I panic when people start being, because I don't know how to help people who are upset. I think usually I try a couple, I just tend to throw strategies at the wall when people are upset. I think I've heard what you're supposed to do. Like I've read what you're meant to do when someone is upset. I don't really understand why you're supposed to do it, but I read that you're supposed to do it. So I try to do those things, but I don't know why. I just know you're kind of meant to do them. And usually I just panic when people start like venting to me or something. And I, I just sit there and I'm really heavily thinking, what am I meant to say right now? What is the correct thing to say right now for this person's mood? What is the, what is the correct, most effective thing to say right now to this person? What is the optimal response? What is the optimal response to my upset friend? What do I say that's optimal? And I literally think like that when someone starts being upset. Like I start thinking like, what am I supposed to say? What am I meant to say? right now you know that's just i go i completely go into panic mode i just try to start thinking what am i supposed to fucking say right now usually i offer to distract people i think is my usual offer when people are upset i say like i usually say like can i help like you know essentially can i help take your mind off it like can we do something can we do something else to like take your mind off of it can we um do you want to watch something do you want to do something? But unfortunately, I think that's not a, that can be an okay strategy. The problem is strategy, the, the, the responses to like people having like meltdowns, people need different responses at different times and they also get different kinds. It's, it's cool. It works. I like, I like the system of the world, honestly. You get different things from different people and you vent in different ways to different people. So like, my friend Poe, like Sam, is a, he's a problem solver when you vent to him, okay? That is where his brain goes. He's a problem solver. So when you start talking about why you're upset, he starts going, okay, what can we, what action plan can we implement to fix this right now? What can we do to start improving your brain right now? What, what, what action plan can we implement? What can we do? What actions can we take to fix this? That's where his brain goes. But... Other times, when I'm like sad, but sometimes when I'm sad, I don't want an action plan. I just want to like be really fucking sad. And sometimes when I'm really sad, I want people to fight my sadness. And other times, I really don't want people to fight my sadness. Because what can happen? Sorry, I'm talking so much. I love talking. Sometimes when I'm sad, I will complain about something like, oh, I don't think I'm pretty. I don't think I look pretty, you know? And someone will say, no, but you do look pretty. You look so pretty. And when people say that to me, when I'm like in a mood where I'm like, I look, I hate how I look. And someone's like, no, you're so pretty. I want to be like, shut the hell up. I'm not, I don't care what you think. I don't care. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're not correct. I know what I'm talking about. And I want to yell at them. It means nothing to me. Yeah. I want to just, it makes me angry, literally. It makes me angry or it makes me want to one thing that happens a lot to me um it used to happen a lot more last year i think but i would talk about being dysphoric or something and i would get people that would basically say along the lines of and we've all done it at some point you know like the, you know someone will say they're dysphoric and and someone else will say like no you have nothing you have no reason to be dysphoric like it's like it's all in your head it's all in your head, they'll say. And when someone tells me it's all in my head, I don't hear that as a compliment. I hear that as them saying, you're fucking crazy. Look at this crazy motherfucker. Look at them. They're actually literally insane. You're delusional. You're fucking delusional. And all I want to do when someone does that to me is I want to show them how bad it gets to make them see myself the way that I see myself. I want to prove them wrong. So I used to take, I haven't taken any for a long time, but I used to take what I would call dysphoria photos, which were basically like, they were, they were photos of myself that were meant to highlight how fucked up my body is, basically. That's in my, that's what they were, right? They were, they were photos of myself that were basically, the point of them was to show that I have a reason to feel dysphoric. That was the point. 
No, it, it's okay. It's not crazy. If someone, if I tell someone, hey, I think my, sh I think my shoulders are like too broad, you know? I, my shoulders are too broad. I don't like my proportions. My upper body is like too big. It makes me sad. And that person goes, there's nothing, you don't have, that's so not true. You don't even have, that. that's not, that doesn't, that's not real. It's all in your head. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo where you can see my fucking back and you can see my shoulders are this big and my hips are this big. And I'm going to make you look at that photo and the photo is going to make me cry, of course, because it's going to be like the, the most horrifying thing for me to, to see. But I'm going to take like a photo of myself that um, that looks like I'm going to I'm going to I want you I want to prove to them that they're wrong, basically, you know. What do they call women broads if their shoulders are supposed to be narrow? I'm curious. You know? <laughs> Dumb broad. Um, it's crazy to do that, but I wouldn't have to do that if the person didn't argue with me about how I looked. Like, I only do that when people start, like, call, when people start calling me crazy. That's when I break, that's when I bust that out. You know? Because you, I feel like I've been pushed to a point where the only way to make these people understand how I feel is to show them, you know? And I remember I did this, um, God, I remember I did this. It's not crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I remember I was, because I was on 4chan last year a little bit. And I remember, like, people used to, like, shit on me constantly. People would like shit on me constantly when I'd complain about dysphoria because they'd say like, you have no like right to be dysphoric. You have no right to be dysphoric. And I'd be like, I do have a right to be dysphoric. I do have a right. I do have the right to be dysphoric. I have issues. And they'd say, it's not dysphoria. You have, you have dysmorphia. You're delusional. You're crazy. And then I remember they argued with me a lot about it one time. So I posted a photo of myself that was just to show my like, show why I feel dysphoric. And I posted that and then this is what happened. This is how, this is the 4chan cycle. But I posted that photo and then like a, multiple people were like, oh, okay, I get it. And then other people started just roasting me for <laughs> like they started making fun of me for how I looked. So it was like I, people went from you don't have a reason to feel dysphoric to ah, you actually do have a reason and we're going to make fun of you for it now. So... <laughs> So, but that's like a, that's like a weird, um, cathartic feeling. You come in, we're talking about 4chan, what brain rot are we on? We're, we're, we're taking an autism test, but I'm just talking. I just be talking right now. But I was talking about dysphoria, just, I was talking about, we tangented. Um, we tangented about, like, um, and like how people interact and stuff. And then I talked about like how, like sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I want to vent, but I also need different people who have, di people have different responses when other people vent. Some people are problem solvers. Some people are just like listeners. Some people are, um, you know, they're caretakers. They'll make you food. They'll make you food. They'll give you a blanket. They'll do something like nice for you. Other people will fight you on why you're sad and they'll argue with me about why you're sad um other people will validate why you're sad and that's like that's what i tend to try for but it's not the only the important thing is to have a mix of different kinds of people to vent to you can't just only vent to one person basically you gotta you gotta have a, a, a good mix i think of personalities that you kind of talk to from time to time because if you talk to the person that you're sad about and the only method they know to like talk about your sadness is to fight you on your sadness, then you never get that feeling of being understood or validated. You know? Anyway, holy shit, I timed it so hard.